our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, D And now, to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Brian T. City Ortega! You ready to fight? Ready? Do it. All right, here we go, early portions of this round with Brian T. City Ortega. And it would seem to me, Daniel, path of least resistance, take this fight to the ground and find a choke. But if you talk to Brian Ortega, not unlike a lot of our Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts, this man has fallen in love with his hands. He wants to strike tonight. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Well, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And that relationship between Brian Ortega and James Lurson is as strong as a coach-fighter relationship as we have in MMA. Nice job in the boxing realm by Ortega here tonight. Submission defense wins this transition. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Ortega has got full mount now. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy is a triangle expert. He got it set up. He jumped on it so quick. And you gotta be kidding me, he's out. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Well, is there any strike not in this guy's arsenal? Nice elbow to the body by Ortega. Elbows landing now. Oh, he is inflicting some serious damage with these elbows. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how busy he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fight. Outstanding work with the ground and pound here by T-City, Brian Ortega. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestle stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. Now he's going full mount. Great submission defense. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Nice defense. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, 
you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work, make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound from very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Ortega is right back to the four -mount. He goes back to the well and lands another strike at the top. And now you can see the swell. He's setting up the armbar. Oh, looks like he's got the submission locked in. He's in real trouble. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, DC. Chase down that fist. Oh, oh, strike attempt to the midsection. It's blocked. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Able to land there with the straight left. Now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, now you see some visible... Oh, oh he got him again. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. And not that far and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the <laughs> Ortega's going for a choke. Oh, I'm no expert, but that bomb flu choke looks locked in. Oh, he got out. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts, even when they get him. He continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Good work from the top here by T City, Brian Ortega. Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead. Oh, another submission attempt by him now. Oh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Strike there by Ortega. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Strong reversal there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them.
This is a terrible position. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back. Look at him, he's setting up the choke now. Look at him, he's setting it up. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Ortega. Ten minutes in the books. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. You're Everything's ready working. But ready. the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. And landed some nasty strikes. Oh, perfect head kick there. Get that it's a pretty good jab. Oh, back and forth we go. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, he's got that submission locked. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Great shot from the top position. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Great submission defense on display tonight. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Three minutes now to go in this one. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. He passed the half guard. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, feet on the hips here. Great defense by the defensive fighter. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. All right, well, he's got him softened up here.
With two work, minutes and change work, to go work. around three. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he needs to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Oh, he got to the spot. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Oh, great ground strike there, and now blood is a factor. Beautiful transition. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Heel hook looks tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. So preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Oh, man, that eye looks so swollen. Now you've got to wonder whether or not that might be a fractured orbital. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Ladies and gentlemen, the official decision is in and resides with Bruce Buff. All three judges score the contest 30 27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Brian T. City Ortega. All right, so as many of you expected, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioner reigned supreme tonight. Needed the judges' scorecards, but a lot of nice work on the ground, particularly when it came to some of those transitions. Well, the balance guy was almost dismissive. Yeah. He said, You're not going to just take me down and grapple with me. Well, it's exactly what happened. He took you down, and he was able to dominate you. What a beautiful job by the Jiu Jitsu guy, recognizing that where his advantages are and making sure that the fight took place exactly there.